lsfund.org. Step right up. We got the future of financial transactions right here. Get your Bitcoin. Get your Bitcoin here. Get them all. It's still $28. I don't right. think we should have time. That's right. Like uh, price. There is now a Bitcoin ATM machine at the Liberty Forum. Who knows how much further this will go in the real world. All right. Well, I'm sitting here with Matt. Um, and uh, you are the, are you the inventor of this, this ATM uh, machine? One of them. Tell me about it. Uh, so this machine is running on a Raspberry Pi. It's uh, running Linux. It uh, takes dollar bills and it will sell you bitcoins. So you basically uh, scan your QR code from your uh, smartphone uh, for your bitcoin address and put in your dollars. Uh, it takes ones through hundreds and uh, you hit the button and it sends you bitcoins. Couldn't be easier. Uh, what would you say is the, is the name a difference between this and a real or a normal ATM machine? Uh, well, in an ATM, a uh, typical ATM, you have to have an account at a bank uh, to use it, and you need a card. And uh, it, normally, they you have a, uh, a balance at the bank that you're just going to withdraw, um, and it will spit out dollars. In this case, this is the opposite direction. You're putting dollars in. And uh, you don't need a, an account at a bank, you just need a Bitcoin address, which anyone can create. Do you have a, um, a vision for these actually appearing on many street corners the same way an ATM does? Could it? Um, yeah, probably. Uh, I think probably where it's going to start first is um, merchants who take Bitcoin now. Um, their customers are going to say, what's Bitcoin? They'll explain it. How do I get Bitcoins? Um, if they have a machine like this, then they can just say, well, we sell them right here. A matter of, like, figuring out. And, um, uh, are, are you already in the state? Do you live in New Hampshire? Yeah. Here? Oh, nice. That's good. Three years. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, awesome. That's good to, have, good, good to have something like this originating here instead of originating somewhere else. Um, what's the next step for this for you? Uh, we've got to uh, industrialize it. So we've got to make it so that it can be manufactured. Are you connected with the the, uh, the hacker space in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in I've never hackers? been there. Okay, uh, for some reason I think it might be. It sounds like something that would come out of there. Yeah. Uh, all right. Anything you'd like to add about this this project, Matt? Um, <laughs> not at the moment. I can't think of anything. Kind right. of camera shy. I guess. Anyone else got anything like this going on anywhere else? Uh, there have been a couple of other uh, attempts to create Bitcoin ATMs. Um, I think this is probably the furthest along toward being uh, something that could be commercialized. All right, let's see it happen. Thanks so much for doing this. You're probably, you're probably doing more good than me and getting less credit. <laughs> see you out there, Matt. All right. Why is it that students have to be forbidden from recording in the buildings? Why does everyone have no comment on this? Are you as unhappy as I am about public schools and their treatment of students? Heck, some of them don't even want to talk about students' rights. The school district bans students from, from running video cameras, doesn't it? I'm not going to discuss this with you right now. But dozens of kids in the free state have escaped jail school because of the Liberty Scholarship Fund. LSfund.org They're getting an education that looks more like this. But their liberation efforts will only continue with your involvement. Help lsfund.org Strike the root of tyranny in the state where it really counts. Donate today.